Hi, this is Pyramid Math, and this is from your math kit tutor. And my name is Tammy, and today I'm going to teach you a fun little game that practices your 13, adding to 13. Uh, a king is worth 13, so if you have a king, you can just take it off. Notice I have seven rows here, and you place the cards over top of the bottom of the other two cards when you set it up. The last row will have exactly seven across the bottom. And then you have a draw pile in case you get stuck. Um, kings are worth 13, so anything that you find that adds up to 13, you can take off. You have to make sure that it is not covered, though. You can even use more than one card. Here I have five plus four is nine, and four is 13. Now when you're doing the nine family, it's good to remember that nine plus four is just one less, um, so it's three, and then you make it a team. Just stack your discard cards here. The goal of the game is to try to eliminate all of the cards. It's a solitaire game. You can use both of your decks, the red and the blue deck, and you can race against another player and see who has the least cards when they're done. Do you clear it? Are you fast? Um, or you can have somebody over checking you to make sure your answers are correct. Here we have 7 plus 4 is 11. Here we have a 3, 12, 13, 14. Oh, it's too high. We have an 8 here. 8 and a 5 is 13. Oh, I can do this. Here's um, 8. 5 plus 3 is 8. And then I have, I need a 5. And I have a 4 and a 1 here. My ace is a 1. So those cards together make 8 and 5 is 13. So I can eliminate all of those cards. A joker, you want to use it to become anything you want. If you get stuck, here I've got 9 and 6 is 15. I have a 7 on the bottom and a 6. That makes 13. Um, I'm waiting to use the joker until I can't use it with anything else. Um, a joker is just a wild card and become anything. Here's an ace and a queen. So that makes 13. And then I have um, a jack. And I have a 9 and a joker. A jack is worth 11. So 12, 13. I need a 2. I need that 2 to go with the jack. So here's where you can use a little strategy. I can say 9 plus 4 is 13. Now I have opened up my two because it has no cards covering it up on the bottom and my jack 11 and 2 is 13 uh, 7 and 6 boy I'm doing really good I don't have to use my stuck pile at all yet um, 8 um, and notice if I pick up the 8 it also clears my 2 so by picking up the 8, I can put the 2 with it, and then I can put the 3 right here. 8, 2, and 3 is 13. A king is automatically 13, and now I'm stuck because the only cards that I have available to use are the 8 and the 3. That makes, um, I mean the queen and the 3, that's a 12, 13, 14, 15, so I'm too high. I need an ace to go with that. So that's where you're stuck paying comes in handy, um, or I need a 10. So I'm looking for a 10 or an ace. And you can just keep going through your cards and hope that one of them comes up. Aha, there we go. A 10 and a three is 13. Now I have a joker and I can put an ace with that. Now I need a four to win. So you go as fast as you can through your stuck pile. Looking for a four, you have to do them one at a time, and bam, nine plus four is 13, and king is 13, king is 13, and I win. Now something that might be helpful is um, before you start with your student, you may want to say king equals 13, queen plus ace equals 13, jack plus two equals 13, and after a while you won't even need to play to put this every day. Um, they will learn this the more they play and it'll help their mental math. Um, hopefully parents you realize that the more they play these games the faster they're going to get 